Hey there, hope you are having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install PyCharm IDE on a Windows operating system. PyCharm basically is a popular IDE used for developing Python programs. So in order to use PyCharm IDE, you need to have uh, Python installed on your system. So let's first check if we have uh, Python in our system. So open your taskbar and type in cmd to open command prompt. Here type in python space dash dash version and hit enter. This shows that we don't have python in our system. If you have it on your system, it would show you the version of python. So let's quickly install python and then gonna install pycharm id. Now to install the latest version of python, simply go to your browser and type in python on the search bar and then hit enter. Now click on the first link which shows you uh, python.org. This opens up the official site of Python. I'm gonna put this link in the description so that you can simply click on it and navigate the site. Here go to downloads and you can see that it automatically identifies my Windows operating system. If you are in a different operating system, just go to the option for your operating system. To download it for Windows operating system, simply click on this Python 3.12 and it starts downloading. Once the download is finished, click on uh, this setup file. This opens up the installation wizard for the latest version of Python. Now let's minimize our browser and here check this addpython.exe to pause as it's very important to execute your programs and automatically save the pause. Then click on customize installation and here you can see that all the options are correctly checked. Click on next and here it's important to check this option install python 3.12 for all users now simply click on install and it's gonna start installing it will ask you administrative privileges so click on yes and it continues installing wait for a couple of seconds to get it installed now you can see that our python setup was successful so simply click on close and now let's check if we have installed python correctly in our system Therefore, go to your taskbar and type in cmd to open command prompt. Here type in python space dash dash version and hit enter. You can see that the latest version of python is correctly installed in our system. Now we have python installed, so let's install the ID. Now to install PyCharm, go to your browser and search for PyCharm by typing in PyCharm on the search bar. Now click on the link from jetbrains.com. Here simply click on download to download the ID. Now you can see that uh, we have download options for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So to download it uh, for Windows, simply select the Windows option and here we have uh, professional version and community version of the ID. If you want the professional version, you need to pay and get access. But uh, for Python development, you can go for the community version, which is free. So click on this download button and it starts downloading. Once the download is finished, simply click on this installer file. This opens up the installation wizard for PyCharm Community Edition setup. Now let's minimize our browser and click on next. Keep the default location as it is or change it if you like and click on next. Now here check this box to create desktop shortcut and keep the other options unchecked for now and click on next. Here let's name the start menu folder for convenience as PyCharm IDE and then click on install. Wait for a couple of seconds for the installation to finish. Once it's finished installing, click on finish. Now to open the PyCharm ID, go to your taskbar and type in PyCharm. Click on this PyCharm community edition and here we have the terms and conditions. So simply accept it and click on continue. Here if you want to share your data with uh, JetBrains, click on this send options. But for now, I'm gonna go with don't send options. This opens up our PyCharm ID. Now let's create our first Python project using PyCharm ID. 
to do that simply click on new project and here let's name our projects let's say python projects so here you can see uh, the python installation folder if you have python installed on your system now click on create and this opens up the id with your project folder so under your python project folder you have this main.py file and if you click on it you can see this sample python script so to run this sample python scripts simply click on this run button and here at the bottom you are able to see the output hypercharm from the sample script now if you want to create a new python file simply uh, right click on the project folder and click on new file and name the file as let's say hello.py here let's write a simple python program print inside of parentheses and double quotes or single quotes whatever uh, hello world and save it now simply click on this uh, run button to run the file and here we can see the output hello world so now you are all set to use PyCharm for your Python program development. Thanks for watching and hope it helps. So if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe.